Hey everybody, I am Sean Powers and today I want to talk about DevOps. Now I'm sure you've heard of it because it's like the biggest buzzword when you're, especially when you're applying for jobs, right? Everybody wants you to have DevOps experience. And of course it's just a portmanteau of development and operations, kind of like Brangelina or Benefer in the celebrity world. Or I like to call myself and my wife Donna, Shananana. She's not actually as thrilled about it as I am. But nonetheless, DevOps is something that we cannot avoid. And it seems like a simple concept when you merge those two things together. But then people start throwing out all sorts of complicated words and terms and things like orchestration and SD-WAN, ephemeral OS, puppet containers, versioning, blah, 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 blah. And it can be very overwhelming. Well, I want to assure you that DevOps is not something to add complication to your life. Rather, it's something to make your life a lot easier. Now, do you remember back in the Jetsons when Rosie was the robot that did all of like the house chores around the house? DevOps is kind of like our version of Rosie in the IT world. She's going to do a lot of the things that normally, if you're a system administrator in Linux, you would use like a bash script to do. But instead of a bash script, there's a lot of other, again, terms, right? Terms, terms, terms. There are a bunch of different DevOps tools that will make your job easier. It's not going to add more responsibility to your job. It's going to make your job much, much nicer. Uh, Docker is going to mean you don't have to install as many operating systems because you can containerize apps, Chef, Puppet, Ansible. They're going to orchestrate and automate the installation and upkeep of all of your systems. It's super nice. Um, Nagios is going to monitor things for intrusion or updates. Jenkins is going to help you develop and deploy apps. Git does versioning. Splunk, new Relic. These are just things that will analyze your log files. And honestly, I even think of CronTab in the Linux world as a bit of a DevOps tool because it helps you automate things. So don't think about DevOps as one more thing you need to learn. Think of it as a tool that's going to make your job a ton easier. So if you're overwhelmed by the world of DevOps, I just want to assure you, it's not as difficult as you think. You can learn one tool, two tools, a ton of tools. Whatever you're going to do is going to make your job easier. It's going to make your um, upcoming job easier to get because you're going to have some tools that are going to allow you to do more more efficiently, more reliably. It's just the best of all worlds. It's like peanut butter and chocolate together, right? It's going to be development and operations. So I hope that you stick with it and figure out what DevOps can do for your life because it's going to only make things better.